Hi everyone, it's Jenny here from Texo. Today I'll show you how to effectively use various scheduling options for automations and workflows in Texo. Scheduling is a powerful feature that helps you organize your automations efficiently and helps you in saving time and boosting productivity. Let's dive in. First, understanding the types of scheduling. Texo offers several different scheduling types each suited for different needs. Let's explore these options by selecting some automations. The first option that you will see when you select scheduling an automation is none. This is the standard setting where the automation runs only when manually triggered. Next, we have regular intervals. For example, let's set up a LinkedIn profile activity export for this automation. Select single input, navigate to schedule the automation and select at regular intervals. Here I will set it to run every two minutes from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. for example. Five PM I can also add a start date and time. This is optional. In my case, I will just leave it out. So what this schedule does is it ensures that your automation is running continuously at regular intervals between the time frame that you have selected, if you have selected it and between the dates that you have selected, if you have selected them. Let's go ahead and save this schedule. And then we can hit the schedule button to schedule the automation. This schedule is ideal for continuous monitoring during specific events. For example, if you want to monitor um, an event during a specific time frame or specific date frame. The next schedule that I would like to tell you about is once. So let's go ahead and use the same um, automation. We'll select our input. We go to the schedule and we can see once. So with this setting, you can schedule the automation to run at a specific time or date, but only once. For example, I want to run this profile activity export only on the 19th. And I want it to run exactly at 10 a.m. in the morning. So I set this up, I save my schedule, I click schedule and my automation will run only once at the specified date and at the specified time. The next option that we can explore is every day. Let's go ahead and check this one out. What that, that schedule will do is it will schedule your automation to run daily at a specified time. So we will have the option to choose what time we would like to execute the automation at. For example, 3 p.m. every day. And we can also set start dates and times. For example, from 17th, we select that until the 31st. Hit save. We need to set up the rest of it. And then the schedule button will be illuminated in green, which means we can go ahead and proceed with scheduling that automation. So for example, what we can do with this automation is if, um, if for example, we want to set a uh, LinkedIn group activity export to run every day at 10 a.m. for three months, this is a great way to schedule it. 
The next option is days of the week. You can select specific days for your automation to operate. For example, I would select profile activity export. I would enter my input and I would select the days of the week that I want this automation to run. For example, if you're tracking regular posts, you can set it to run every Tuesday and Friday at 11 a.m. So you will have a list of the days of the week and you can select the days that you want it to run on. So if I want it to run on Tuesday and Friday at 11 a.m. I can go ahead and do that here and if I want it to run only between specific dates I can also set this up here. So always make sure to save your schedules before you schedule your automations and my schedule is done. Okay, the next schedule option that we will review is days of the month. Now, that would be ideal for events or activities that occur on specific days each month. For example, I would like to schedule a LinkedIn company activity extractor. Okay, I will need to enter my input first. So if I want to schedule the uh, LinkedIn company activity extractor for the 10th and 20th of each month to monitor my competitors events. For example, I know that um, my competitor is running uh, events every 10th and 20th of the month and I want to extract the details of these events. I want to see what posts there are and um, you know what kind of um, you know images they're posting etc i can do that with the days of the month schedule so under scheduling of the automation i select days of the month and i select 10th and 20th I can also select the time that I want it to run. So let's say I will put it at maybe 6 p.m. so that I make sure that I encompass the entire day. I can also add a start and end date as an optional feature here. I click save and I schedule my automation and that will make sure that my, my automation runs every 10th and 20th of the month at exactly 6 p.m. and it's going to extract the data from the LinkedIn company activity extractor automation. If I don't set any start and end date, obviously it will run indefinitely every month on the 10th and 20th, but if I want I can always set up um, start and end date if, for example, I know that they're only going to be running those events um, only between certain dates or in the next two months, for example. The next schedule that we are going to review is specific dates. With this schedule, you can target particular days for one time or annual events, for example. Let's go ahead and use the LinkedIn company activity extractor again. Okay, we will go ahead and use this automation. We will go over to the schedule. We select days of the month. Sorry, specific dates. And here we can select the exact months that we want to run this automation and the exact dates that we want to run the automation. For example, I want to run this automation only in July and August, and I want to run it 
on first, second and third, because this is when they are having the events only from first to the third. And I can also set up uh, the time that I wanted to run, for example, 4 p.m. And as an option, I can also add the start date and time. So make sure that when you're selecting the specific months and dates, uh, when you're selecting the start and end dates, that this will encompass these dates so that you don't skip them by mistake. Go ahead and save the schedule and you can go ahead and run the workflow, the automation. With this scheduling type, you can monitor for the company activity from 1st to the 3rd, every 1st to the 3rd in July and August at 4 p.m. Next, I will show you how to use the workflow scheduling. Let's go ahead and head over to workflows. Here, I'm going to create a sample workflow to demonstrate how the workflow scheduling works. I have added one node and I will add another one. Navigate to the clock icon, which is for setting up workflow schedule. And here you have the same exact options as you have under automations. The same scheduling options are available for workflows. And that's all about scheduling. Explore these scheduling options to maximize your efficiency and keep your automations running smoothly. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.